Welcome everyone to the fifth episode of the Simon FC Creative Club FIFA 23 career mode. And just letting you know the style of the series, switching things up a little bit, going from four games an episode to two games an episode as things currently stand. And recapping a little bit of last season, finished sixth in League 2, knocked out very early in all cup competitions, but most importantly, knocked out in the League 2 playoffs. We were the runner-up, lost in the final on penalties at Wembley. Very, very rough, rough time for the squad, but that does give us now another chance to... Honestly, we should dominate very, very much. I mean, we should kill everyone in League 2 this year. I think we should be a League 1 side. Just looking at this team, obviously the overalls are a little bit lower, but most of this team is very young, promising players who are just going to continue to grow. Especially Leonard, the main man up top, he gets goals just out of nowhere every single day. Don't really need any immediate improvements, probably just sign a couple of depth players this season. But first off, Elijah Smith is going to be going out on loan to Wigan Athletic. And joining us from Sheffield United, obviously the club I Vic Star 123 is obviously associated with. 2.7 mil for Daniel Jebison, 68 overall striker. He's very quick, very good, just physical specimen. Decent shooter as well as dribbler, which is very important, especially because I think we're going to be, I'm going to continue to use these two striker formations, keep Jebison and Leonard for a while. Ideally, that's the goal. So playing a two striker, you can't just have a goal scorer who can't do anything else. You need, you know, like a Kareem Benzema type, you know, a, a Firmino kind of that type of off the ball striker who, like Jebison, you can see if he needs to drop off, get the ball at his feet and turn and go, he can. James Bourne is going on a year-long loan move to Fleetwood Town. Eddie Fisher, who is being replaced by Jefferson, has been sold to Turkish side Gaziantep for 640k. And sending our Youth Academy scout to England just to get any sort of players, no, no specifics. Nathan Rose, year-long move to Montreal, well, CF Montreal, they just rebranded over the MLS. And we did get a little bit of bad news in the preseason as... Carlos Shore, our starting right back, is out for the next four weeks with a sprained ankle injury, so he is likely to miss the first game of the season. But we did get manager of the month for the month of August, and now it's time for our first game of this episode, facing off against Carlisle United at Brunton Park, and going with a di completely different lineup. Since the ch Chore is injured, I figured this would be a good chance to experiment with playing at with three at the back. So obviously, Guzman is still in goal, that's just given, but we have Carl Roberts, Freeman, center back, Gunnarsson, Alhadri are our defensive mids, Chipperfield, Quado, or Quadwo are out, our outside mids, Yabo is our attacking mid, and then Jevison and Leonard up top. Just trying something, something out, hopefully this will work. Here are the highlights. Who can he pick out? Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this. Oh, fellow. can he finish it here, Derek? And a goal! Not wasted! Moving forward effectively. Cross towards that far post. And it goes! Two Al Hajri. Defensive cover there on the flank. And there it is! Three goals! And stuffing out the danger. Now potential danger. Well, the supporters think it's on. And in! Oh. Salem Al Hajri. And he's in. There's the goal. Shoot. And that's an important intervention. And just five minutes remaining. And he's made headway. Surely. A goal. And I'll tell you what. To be offside. Really nice ball. So 
we won this game 6-1. to one. Like I said, we should dominate in League 2 this year. And this 3-5-2 might actually end up being a very good formation for this team. We have another chance to prove it with our first home game of this episode as we host Newport County. The lineup that we're going for is the same as it was for the last game. Here are the highlights. Aaron Gunnarsson. Getting forward. Play towards the back post. And a goal! Now they throw! He read the situation defensively and did his job. Now he's showing excellent vision. And now waiting to pounce. Will he? And it goes! Well, just the tackle that was needed. Well, if you're wondering about added. Great opportunity! A goal that is out! Now 1-0 with 45 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Cut out the pass. Bad ball. Excellent ball over the top. Oh, that is him! Solving the problem. Twenty minutes to go, and he's through here. Good piece of covering. A run to Rome on the wing. Can he finish this? And there it is! A goal! But... Excellent ball over the top. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Can they hit on the break? So we won this game 5-3, to three. a little bit more of an entertaining game, a little bit better for the fans, but we dominated pretty much the entire game, they just got some goals late there. But yeah, we are currently first in the league, like I said, we should dominate this year, we are the best team in the division by far, and that's really it for this episode. I mean, stuff happened, nothing too crazy though, expect a lot more of this in the future, as we should continue to just win and win and win. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you check out the previous episodes. And if you're not watching this on the exact day it came out, also check out some of the future episodes. And also, of course, subscribe if you enjoyed. And I hope to see you all in the next episode.